Um, do you have a standout male? Are there females on the show we haven't seen? Um, yeah, so we had um, we had a title fight, um, Charlene Drone. Yes, yes. Yeah, so she was going to be fighting, or Charlene Watt was that fighting? Yeah. She was going to be fighting Hera. Uh, yeah, unfortunately okay. Hera got injured. Yeah. Uh, but with our relationship with Pancrase, we were able to get yeah, Hera yeah. fight over in Tokyo, which was really cool. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Uh, yeah. Short notice and, and up against a beast of a woman, an yeah. SFC, a UFC fighter. Um, so she came up a little short, but obviously this girl is a big beast of a wrestler. But I mean, Charlene showed that she deserved to be in that page yeah. that girl as well. So, um, yeah, once again, we've got some good females coming through the ranks as well. Yeah. Um, the, the female is tough though, because there's, there's not as many of them. Yeah. And the weight is always a difference, like in the class and the experience, but yeah. we'll definitely have more females yeah. on the card. Yeah. So. And where do you see XFC in five years? Uh, we see XFC in multiple states. <laughs> um, I think with a few other partnerships that we've got in line, yeah. um, internationally as well. Um, some TV deals, yeah. working in the backstage as well. So, yeah, cool. um, but I, the thing I love about it is, like, we need to be successful first. Yeah. Um, but there are certain things that we see where fighters, you know, we, we've seen fighters that couldn't pay for medical, so we've helped them out. Yeah. But then we see fighters saying, oh, I'd love to get home for the holidays. Like, I guess in terms of a, a charity-wise sort of thing, like, we, yeah. we'd love to have the success where we can turn and say, oh, Thanks for getting punched and kicked in the face for us last week. Here's a trip back to home, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I wish we could be successful so we could be charitable, yeah. like that. Um, okay. you know, we see some people that you know, might be wearing some tattered gloves or something, and here's, yeah. here's this, here's that to help you fight, you know what I mean? So, I guess repaying the loyalty is where yeah. you see yourselves in five years' time, you know, really growing the sport. Um, having some incredible fights um, in some big stadiums, all that sort of stuff yeah. as well. So, I think there's room for it, you know, so I think there's definitely room for competition, but at the moment there's no one that's really taking MMA to like a, a national scene. Yeah. You know I mean? So I think everyone's kind of ingrained in their own states yeah. and branching out, but I think when they branch out, they water it down. Yeah. Uh, I think if you do it properly with a certain amount of shows a year, you can sell out um, stadiums and you know, have some fun. So. Do you guys all get together, like all the heads of each promotion? Yeah, uh, yes and no. Yes and no, yeah. yeah. So some people get along, some people don't, oh, you know. So um, I, I speak to quite a few promotions. Yeah. Um, you know, Brace is really good to deal with. There was on XFC 27, we had a fighter pull out the last minute because of injury. Yeah. And Brace was straight on Facebook and social media finding us a fighter. Like, that's the cool yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, Postal Combat happened only a month ago, and I was able to help those guys get promotion. We didn't ref on the night and judge. So yeah, um, yeah stuff like that, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. All right. Um, we're going to pass five. Um, you obviously know how it works. Five questions, top of your head. Go. Shout it out. <laughs> uh, if you had to choose to fight Mark Hunt or Brock Lesnar for three by five minutes, who would it be? Uh, Brock Lesnar, hands down, because he just lay on top of me. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to get hit by Mark Hunt, I'd, I'd get Brock Lesnar lay on top of me all day. Uh, if you could have one fighter from UFC, Bellator, 1FC, etc. to fight an XFC, who would it be? Anderson Silva. Oh, Easy. Good call, good yeah. call. Against Luke Jumo. <laughs> Anderson Silva against Luke Jumo. He's probably the only one that would fight Luke Jumo right now. <laughs> You're in a bar fight, you can pick anyone to back you up. Past the present, who would it be? As in just people that I know? Anybody. Anybody. Luke Jumo. The, good, the guy's a beast. <laughs> yeah, he's a monster. Yeah. <laughs> Um, if you had a superpower, what would it be, and what would your superhero name be? Uh, flying. Yeah, I'd just be the mad attack. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you won Gold Lotto, you would? Travel. Yeah. And spend it all on XFC. Awesome. Um, what can we expect in XFC 2017, man? Uh, I think some epic fights. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, get rid of the budget. You know, don't worry about what's our end cost yeah. going to be. It's yeah. what, what fight do people want to see. So um, maybe a different venue might be on the cards. You know, we, we constantly outgrow the Mansfield. So um, yeah, some some epic fights, some fights that people really want to see. Yeah. Um, more title fights. As I said, no no vacant belt by the end of 2017. Yeah. Um, yeah, and as I said, hopefully some some girls on the card as well. Uh, do you have any advice for anyone that's wanting to jump on HFC in the future? Do you have a um, message for them? How do yeah, they? Like I, it's, it's a serious sport now. Yeah. You know, I mean, like you, you can't just, you can't just talk on Facebook and say oh, I'm a backyard yeah. brawler and yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll train for three months and deserve to get in the cage. 
uh, you can really get hurt you know, as well. Yeah. Um, but and then like just little things as well, like I'm a bit of a health freak, you know what I mean? So you've got to quit the smoking, you've got to quit the drinking all the time, all that sort of stuff. Like you really got to take it seriously. You know, as I said, you, you get in there and you have one poor experience and you get in trouble. Yeah. Uh, most important, I think you've got to you've got to deal with the coach. Yeah. You know what I mean? So far too many times we see people like fighters talking to the promoters themselves yeah. and maybe the promoter might just be trying to put that as a, a fight filler because the other guys sell tickets or you know look after yeah. his teammate. Um, yeah so I think you've got to get in there with a really good gym um, and get your friends behind you. Yeah you know I mean like they're the ones that actually support you through it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah but it's all good fun. Is it you know, do, they, do you want these guys to contact you or, they, um, or is it better yeah, yeah, definitely contact us, absolutely. Yeah. So we like to point them off in certain directions. Yeah. Um, we like to know where they're at, all that sort of stuff, because we've had kids that have trained previously, but now they're fighting in the garage, and they might not have a coach because they can't afford it. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously we still need to speak to those guys. Yeah. Um, but that would be something to where we would go and talk to them at their gym or their garage, or something like that as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely, if, if you do have a proper coach, I'd be speaking to the coach first, and then something they would want to jump on and test uh, But it, like everyone should know that we're not just a, a pro, show like we, we do have amateurs yeah and we have amateurs making their debuts all the time you know so we don't want people to think because they haven't had a fight and that they need to jump on a smaller show yeah. um, they, they, they coach says they're ready to jump on a set scene um, we'd love to have it yeah all right man i think that brings us to the end of our um our world production cool. interview with matt walton man i want to give this guy big ups for coming down here and, and doing what he does man he had it straight from the horse's mouth what you need to do um, to get in there, um, you know, you got to be serious about this stuff, man. It's a hard sport. Um, and these guys are getting in there and they're, they're putting themselves on the line. And, you know, this guy's putting in 100%, 110% of what he does. And, you know, you guys should be thanking him, man. Every time you see him out there, shake his hand. The man, uh, he's getting you guys out there. Um, you know, we want to thank you all the best. For everything, your son, your family, Christmas, next year. Um, it's going to be great, you know, hopefully everybody can get there and, and get on the show, whether you're a fighter or just wanting to watch. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to, to 2017 and XFC, man. So, sure. thank you for uh, joining us. February 18th. February 18th, everybody. Get yourself down there. It's going to be a good one. You got to see some title fights? Yeah, man. Yeah? Yeah, some good ones. All right. Take it easy.